visitors have flocked in great numbers to witness the wonders of Africa. These phenomenal spaces have become synonymous with life-changing safari journeys. Aside from these intense transformations in people's lives, tourism to Africa generates billions of dollars each year and secures millions of livelihoods. Most importantly, tourism has largely been the deciding factor in a very fragile balance that has had to contend with growing threats to Africa's great wildlife and the vast areas they inhabit. This is a male impala, uh, did a, a snare around the neck, so we are trying to remove the snare of it and to help him. So on the hind leg there is a wound over there yeah. and that will, that will be treated as well. Dangers have always lurked. But in just a few short months, COVID-19 has already begun to tip the scales significantly towards a point of no return. The challenge at Rwanda is that the tourism saga has taken effect on many parts of Rwanda, and we are being saga is not able control. The situation is difficult. The data, data one hour, one hour, but zero. The basic to remember the change in the change in the force. This is the point at which we can easily lose control of the balance and allow the monsters to grow unchecked. Poaching, driven by the illicit wildlife trade, has been a real and present threat for a long time. Tourist dollars have been the bulk contributor towards a diverse network of conservation initiatives. The fight so far has been tough but things have just become a whole lot more challenging. Um, Rob, you know, we've grown up here in, in, in Zimbabwe, in Africa. We've moved around a lot. We've got a strong appreciation for wildlife, you know. Um, yeah, but why, why is it so important, really, uh, that, that we protect these animals and, and, and look after them? You know, a, a lot of people probably wonder why we're so passionate about that. I mean, at the end of the day, other parts of the world are living without uh, wild animals and they're kind of getting on okay but um, you know why, why should we do this? I... When you see people come for their first time and others that come back time and time again and they come out of their fast lifestyles and spend two three weeks if they're lucky here in Africa you see them go home changed people. Yeah, you've just you know you've hit the nail absolutely on the head you know? You know what sometimes tends to be forgotten is that there's a there's a there's a additional part of life that gets left out. You know, it has become so human centric that we forget there's there's a world that was gifted to us, which actually has all the resources available that we need and we can learn from. It's so diverse, it's so intricate, it's so special, and there are little miracles happening all around us if we open our eyes and have a look. Yeah. And I think that's what you mean, you know, when a tourist comes out here and goes on safari for the first time, something awakens in them, something deeper, something more connected with the world around them.